everyone this is asmr today welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today we'll show you how to edit photo uh, actually we'll show uh, just uh, the portrait photo which is the outdoor portrait suppose this one i downloaded this photo from the debianna.com and i'll give you the download link of this photo and uh, Okay, I'm pressing Ctrl J for making another group and going to the filter and then camera filter from the camera filter I'll adjust the color at first and after that then we'll do the color correction or the effects also okay at first uh, I'll do de highlight this one add some shadow add some exposure a little bit and blacks and whites also okay after that i will go to the effects and dehaze this one like that and then hsl and reduce the saturation of green and add some aqua reduce some blue blue saturation and then go to the camera calibration from the camera calibration i will make it like that and green like that this one is good and it is the saturation primary red color saturation and from the HSL uh, reduce the red luminance and add some red saturation and add some the saturation of orange and green luminance I'll reduce like that and blue and aqua also from the basic panel I'll reduce the vibrance a little bit add some clarity and on the filter uh, temperature and tint I'll make it cool okay and hit the ok button after that go to the filter uh, actually go to the adjustment layer and color lookup from the color lookup I'll make it horror blue color uh, or this one is good the fuzzy film and reduce the opacity of the filter and selecting these two things making it group making it merge after making it merge go to the filter again and google nick collection color effects pro 4 from the google nick collection color effects pro 4 i'll add the cross processing filter and there are lots of uh, sub filter and i will use that it's loading okay uh, i'm using cross processing and from that panel i'll choose one of them yes i think this one is good and hit the ok button after adding the filter i'll do the correction and uh, this portion uh, actually i should uh, reduce the this portion like that and i'll just go to the selection tool uh, the lasso tool actually and i'll select area and press the alter button and the control button and make copy press ctrl t and i'll make it bigger and hit the ok button press ctrl d for the deselect options okay this one is i just for the um, here was the gap you know that the gap that's why i have done this one and after that i'll go to the curves option and from the rgb curves select here and the dot point and just add some vignette uh, actually the grammar okay making a group making it merge and then going to the filter again and camera raw filter again after camera raw filter i'll add some amount of sharpening and luminance also noise reducer luminance and hit the before hit the ok button uh, go to the hsl again and desaturate the green actually and aqua also okay and camera calibration primary blue color primary red color like that and hit the ok button okay you'll get an amazing uh, photo this one is our unedited photo after that you will get this uh, this type of photo uh, and one thing is that 
I'll add light over there that's why I'm taking a blank layer and going to the filter and place a file and place embedded from the file and place embedded place embedded I'll just adding this filter um, this light actually and making it bigger and just okay and hit the ok button after making that I'm going to the filter and go to the blur and Gaussian blur little bit okay Gaussian blur I'll make it blur you'll get extra uh, effect on it and that's why I'm just making group making it merge after making it merge I'll go to the filter and Google make collection color effects pro 4 again and I will add another filter for that option uh, I added light and last portion that's why for the neutralize or effect the light I'll add another effect over there a soft effect yeah this one and hit the ok button ok it's loading and just uh, getting the effect from the google nick collection color fix pro 4 and yes we got the photo and after that again i'll go to the curves and select the curves here and here and add some drama ok that's nice ok let's see what was the previous photo and the previous one which is non edited photo and after edit this one you will get this type of photo ok thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question or query please do comment on my video comment section don't forget to subscribe and share with your friend and until the next video i am asmr signing out and bye bye